Elsewhere today, Ukraine says it has repelled a Russian attack in Kharkiv in the northeast of the country after Moscow's forces launched a ground offensive across the border. For months, fighting has been focused in the east, where Russia occupies large areas and is seeking to advance. Well, the attack may be an attempt to open a new front and to intensify pressure on Kharkiv, which is the country's second largest city. It comes as President Biden authorised more US military aid for Ukraine. Our defence correspondent Jonathan Beale sent us this report from Kharkiv. Well, there's no doubt these are dangerous and difficult times for Ukraine. Remember, since the start of this year, Russia has taken about 300 square miles of Ukrainian territory. The focus of its efforts have been in the east, where it's been making slow but significant progress. But at the same time, Russia has been massing forces, tens of thousands of troops, just across the border from here, about 20 miles from the city of Kharkiv, where I'm speaking to you now from. And in the early hours of this morning, some of those troops crossed the border, followed by what we're told from Ukraine, massive air and artillery strikes, and that they now have a foothold in the Kharkiv region. President Zelensky says they have repelled those initial attacks, but there are concerns there will be another wave in the coming days. There's no doubt President Putin believes he has a window of opportunity here, not just because Ukraine is outgunned and outmanned, but also because of that delay in U.S. military support, a delay of six months, and that aid is only slowly coming to the front lines. So these, as I say, are going to be difficult, dangerous months for Ukraine, and already they're being stretched right across this 800-mile front.